Hello, Giles Brook School. Thank you very much for your questions. We really appreciate you taking the time to put those together. Um, just before we start to answer some of those, just to reintroduce ourselves. So, my name is Mr. Davis, I'm assistant head teacher. And I'm Mr. Holmwood, I'm head teacher. I'm Miss Alkerson, I'm your progress leader, and I'm Miss Ellen, head of the year seven. Right, so first of all, um, we have sent letters to your parents, a couple of letters telling you about our website and our transfer and transition page on that website. And there's lots of resources on there to help you. There's an instruction video, there's videos by students telling you about different aspects of life at Shennybrook Kent School. There's a welcome booklet for students as well as a, a welcome booklet for parents. So please make sure that you, you take a little bit of time to look through those and read through those ideally with your parents or your carers because they actually answer a lot of the questions that we've got on here um, but what we'll also do is we'll, we'll go through and, and answer some of these to, to help you out as well. Um, I'm going to hand over to Mr Holmwood now who's going to talk about um, I suppose what's going to be different in September not just for you but for, for all our students here at Shelley Brookend School. Thank you Mr Davis. So welcome, thanks very much for watching. Um, as you know we've not been in our normal time have we in the schools been a very different thing for the last four months and although I'm really pleased that everybody can come back to school in September we have to do that in a different way than usual to keep everybody safe now your parents will have had a letter from me explaining all of this but I'm just going to let you know that you will come to school on Thursday the 3rd of September and you'll come in as a year group for that one day the sixth form will be in that day, but they'll be in another part of the building. And so you'll be the only year group from the lower part of the school that will be in that day. So you can take the time to find your way around, to get to know the people that you need to get to know, and to make sure that you're ready for the following week. Because you come in on Thursday the 3rd of September for one day, and then because all the other year groups are coming back gradually to get used to how everything's going to be, you're proper start date from which you then carry on coming in every day will be Tuesday the 8th of September. So that Thursday the 3rd of September is a bit of a transition day, a bit of a get to know you day and then on the Tuesday the 8th of September you start coming in to school. Now we're having to keep year groups separate around the school building and one of the guidelines that we've been given is to organise the day around what's called a staggered start. It doesn't mean you have to walk funny, it just means that you come in at different times uh, from other year groups. Now we're going to be asking you to come in at 8.20 and we're going to be asking you to come through the gate, ideally, that is opposite the Oak Tree Centre on Shane Brick End. If you live over at Tattenhill or Westcroft and you want to come in for the other end of the building, that's fine, you just have to walk around the back of the school building where the field is to get to the hardcore area that is uh, at the end of what we call phase four. And you're gonna wait there with your year group and teachers will come and will help you then to get into the building. When you do come into the building, one of the things that will be organized is that you wash your hands as you come in. And then you're gonna spend a lot of time with your form tutor on the first day that you come in and then when you get to your timetable, you'll start um, spending quite a lot of time with your form tutor group. Because we need to reduce the amount of movement around the building, you're going to be in a few areas for quite some time with your tutor group, with teachers changing and coming to you. And that's our way of making sure everyone can stay safe. Now, you start slightly earlier, at 20 past 8, coming into school. Normally, you'd start... Uh, coming in at about 25 past 8 and the school bell will go at 8.35. But the good news is, or you probably think it's good news, is you get to leave a bit earlier as well. So Year 7 will leave at 2.20 in the afternoon. So your school day in September is from 8.20 to 2.20. They are things that are going to be different for you. Uh, and when you come in we'll talk to you about other things that will be slightly different. But for now, I think that's the key message that you need to hear, where you need to be, when, and uh, how, you, how you can be safe around the building. I think I'm just going to add one more thing while I think about it, because you'll probably be th thinking, what am I meant to be wearing? 
Well, we're looking forward to seeing you with Shelley Brook End School students in your Shelley Brook End School uniform. And you'll be wearing that uniform every day, apart from days when you have PE, where we're going to say it's fine for you to come in in your Shelley Brook End School PE kit. And the reason for that is then we haven't got to organise changing facilities for you. And that's another part of keeping you safe. So I hope that all makes sense and look forward to hearing the other answers to the questions that you have. Okay, so a few of the questions that we've got from you. Um, one specifically from James, you talk a lot about um, architectural equipment and design within art. Uh, this is a really interesting question, is because within school, obviously, we'd like to try and link as much as possible uh, to future careers and aspirations that you all might have. Um, and art and DT both provide opportunities to look at what that kind of structure might look like. Um, so I think you'll definitely find some opportunities to link into your passion there. In terms of um, another question that we had in relation to uniform, and particularly the blazer, um, and possibly the tie and things like that. So let me just start off by saying um, our uniform is, is very much a part of some of our passion here at Shenley, and wanting us to make sure that we all feel that sense of belonging within school. And we don't just wear our uniform because we're told to or you know, anything like that. It's about having that pride, about feeling that sense of community and feeling that you're part of something bigger. So it's really important to us that you do wear a tie, that you do wear a blazer. Um, you do have obviously the option of wearing a jumper if you're feeling a, a little bit cold or anything like that. Um, but the blazer generally should be worn throughout the school day. Obviously there might be times where you do get a little bit hot and there's nothing wrong with asking your teacher whether you can take that off so that you can feel more comfortable within your lesson. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to you about is school clubs. So the question was, are there any? And yes there are. There are lots of different kinds of school clubs that you can get involved with. Some that are more art related and performing arts related, uh, some that are more to do with maths and sciences, uh, some that are sports related. And actually all of those are, are opportunities that you will get to explore a little bit later in the academic year we hope. When you first arrive in September though, we won't be offering clubs in the first instance because our priority is going to be about keeping you guys safe. So Alex has asked, Will you be, if you're late to lessons, will you get detention? Now, when you first start with us in Shenley, you will find that you may get lost. You will be able to have a use of your map. And you can also ask people. Now, if you are late, you just have to explain to your teacher. You know, they do understand that you've just joined us, they, that you don't know the school, so you will not get to detention. Now, if it's six months down and you've been here six months and you should know the school, and you have no reason, the teachers haven't signed your learning passport or given a reason why you're late, then you may end up with a detention from your teacher. But again, it's thinking positive. If you get your lessons quickly, you have a five minute turnaround to walk to lessons, so you have plenty of time to get there, unless you're chatting. And obviously then that's you know, one of the reasons that you, will, you possibly could you know, be spoken to by your teacher. Now obviously getting lost, is if you're in a new school you don't know the school very well so you will have the map mr Holmes has already explained that you do have you know you've been given the task to look at the virtual map that he's done on uh, the website for you uh, so that will be another way to look and see how you know to learn the school as well if so another question was asking about do we have uh, to pay for lunches yes you have to pay for lunches um you have your biometric finger scanning will be done when you first join us in September and that will allow your parents to put money onto your account by their preferred parent mail or you can bring money in and there's a machine that will be able to do that. Now if you do forget to ask your parents or your carers to top up your account and you find that when you go and buy your lunch that you've not got enough money, all you have to do is come and find an adult, one of the teachers one of the year leaders and we'll sort a letter out for you so it's almost like you're borrowing money from the school and then when we ask your parents or let your parents know that you've you know borrowed money from the school to buy your lunch then we'll top your account up and that will clear your negative if you forget your packed lunch you can do exactly the same so never ever panic if you've got no food okay you can always find any member of staff and then tell you exactly what you need to do and you'll come and find us and we can help you okay thank you I'm just going to pick up on something that Ms. Allen was referring to because um, 
probably haven't said enough in this particular bit about it, and that's about my virtual tour of the school. So if you go on the website, you'll see that um, I walk around the school explaining to you where everywhere is. Uh, I started in the theatre, I walked through the different phases of the building and back to the theatre. And one of the transition activities that you've got is the opportunity to trace my steps around the building. So you could do that with some arrows or some lines, or you could even draw footprints in the style of the Marauder's Map and Harry Potter if you like. But that's one activity that might really get you thinking about how four different buildings all connect as one big building. Um, the other question that I wanted to answer was the question about school council and house captains. So we have a school cabinet, uh, we call our school cabinet and the other groups that we have student voice at Shenley and we really want you to be involved in student voice. We want to hear your views and your opinions and your ideas and uh, there will be a process whereby each uh, tutor group and year group work towards having representatives and they, they meet and they help to communicate with the old students and the staff about how things are going and about their different feelings about things in, in the school. Um, so as house captains, the house captains we have are actually members of staff and they lead the different houses. But there's lots of opportunity to grow in responsibility through the house events. And we look forward to you taking part in those. So thank you for asking. So thank you very much for your questions. Again, we really appreciate you taking the time. Um, we very much look forward to seeing you in September and have a lovely summer. So thank you. Bye-bye.